Hey guys, back with another action figure review, and this time we're going to take a look at the DC Signature Infinite Earths subscription figure of Robin, Damian Wayne. And this figure has been a long time coming, long awaited, and long hyped. I don't know how many other ways you want to say it, but um, yes, I was one of the many waiting for this figure, and... Now's the time you will find out whether he lived up to expectations. <laughs> uh, before we get into the figure itself, I will take a look at the box. Um, he does come in the white mailer that looks like this. You know, signature collection Robin, Mattel, Choking Hazard, Adele Collector, blah, blah, blah. And it's just white all around. You have all this yada, yada, yada back here. And the really obnoxious, hard to open tab at the top. After that, you get greeted with this box the signature collection window box. <laughs> um, you got the character name at the bottom Robin, adult collector. You got a big orangey splash thing that light blah blah back there. Signature collection at the top. You got some really nice character artwork on the side, and uh, it's it's a really like a good look at the young Damien, how he should look. And on the back, you have a full shot of him with a read up. You got Robin at the top, real name Damien Wayne. The biological child of Bruce Wayne and Talia al Ghul, Damian Wayne was conflicted by his upbringing as a deadly assassin and the revelation that he was the son of the Dark Knight. Detective. Genetically engineered in a laboratory and trained by the League of Assassins, young Damian was already a lethal warrior when he met his father. To help Damian control his violent temper and curb his desire to kill, Batman took him under his wing and eventually made him his sidekick, Robin. While their relationship was rocky at first, they were able, were able to form a strong bond as father and son and as Batman and Robin. That type drove me nuts as a graphic designer because they just changed the size and the kerning and the condenseness and the everything all from line to line and wow, that's some bad type. Sorry guys, little graphic designer rant. But uh, yeah, really overall cool box. This is my first uh, signature collection series figure. Um, I know Todd has a couple, but I don't know if he bought them loose or not, so I feel like I've never seen this box in person. It's pretty cool. But not as cool as an action figure, am I right? So let's take a look here. We got Robin. And let me bring this down a little bit again. Comes with one accessory, which is this red batarang. It's soft rubber, you can mold it. It's got the hole in the center for him to hold it. How he's shown in the artwork, which is going to take me too long, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but that's it for accessories. And then we have Damien himself. Look at that face. How smug. Let's bring that in there. There is something about this face that I am just not loving. And I'm, I don't know what it is. I think he looks like he's got this big, like, pudgy chin. It's like, he's like, it's like wide. It's not sticking out from his face. I'm not sure what's up. He just looks, I think it's aging him. I don't know. I mean, the expression is good. He's got this, like, smirk. He looks like he's making a Damien face. Hair is fine, you know, it's just a slick black, slick, slicked back black hair. Say that ten times fast. And, like, you know, he's got his domino mask, whatever. It's just, like, pudgy and weird. I don't know. I don't, I don't really don't know how to describe it, so I'm just going to say that I'm not entirely satisfied with it and move on. Um... As far as the rest of them goes, it's, it's, this, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with this body for the most part. It is quite short, um, and to just show off the bat, put him with my DC UC style Batman, which is actually DC superheroes, dusty Batman. Um, 
Jeez, this is actually going to be a little too short, really, then. But, um, yeah, that's what they look like, you know, back to back. This is the uh, modern legacy Batman, or, the, you know, the DC Superheroes book, so it's a little shorter than the DC Universe Classics Batman book. Uh, you know, they look pretty good. I feel like Damien should be a little shorter, but it's really not a huge deal. And then, if I want to put him with... DC collectible Batman, like the Capullo Batman, for instance, look even better. Because, I don't know why he's like looking weird. Capullo Batman is a quite a bit taller than the uh, modern legacy Batman. So that looks really good. And this is probably, this is like my go-to Batman, and so this will probably, you know, be my go-to Robin. Um, I think they look pretty good together. That's pretty cool. Now, um, I'll leave them here for a second. I've I've heard that they the whole you know leading up to this Damien figure. The whole thing was that he was based on the Young Justice Robin book, but apparently he is not. Now I do have that Robin, so uh, which I forgot to pull up for this review. I'm gonna see if I can grab him really quick. I think I know where he is. Okay, he's not in either place that I thought he was, so... I can't do the comparison on the camera, because I don't know where he went. He must be in one of the boxes that are very buried. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but from what I understand, this is not the same book. And looking at it, trying to remember here from memory, I think that Robin is a bit, like, has a bit of a wider torso and might be a little shorter. This is gonna bother me. I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna look for him like after the video and then find him and then be like, he's not in my video. But anyway, um, yeah, so from what I understand it's different and he, this book looks different from the first like prototype image we ever saw. I don't know if that's accurate or if the image just looked um, like he was buffer than he really was. But overall, like, I think he looks pretty good. He looks really, he looks pretty slim through the, the torso. Um, his arms, his, like, biceps are a little large. I don't think a kid his age is going to have these kind of biceps. But the legs look good. They're nice and skinny. But they don't look like girl legs, which a lot of customizers were using, like, female legs. I think it was, like, Stargirl who had these kinds of boots. Could be wrong on that one, but similar. And um, so they would use the girl legs, which, I mean, I guess it's fine in this, you know, at least for the lower legs. He really does have skinny legs, so let me get this Batman out of here. Ooh, sorry, that was my lamp. Sorry, Batman. <laughs> um, so, um, what was I saying? Yes, so the legs. Um, so yeah, so overall, like I said, he, I think he is pretty well proportioned, other than the arms a little bit too big. The... Everything else is, like, pretty plain. He has, you know, the gray um, on the arms and legs and the belt. And I have to say, off the top of my head, I feel like he, he didn't have a gray belt. But I could be totally... I'm, You know, I'm sure this is accurate. I'm sure they do their homework. But uh, he, it's all, like, flat colors, no shading or anything. My... These thighs are weird. They have seams on the outside. I thought one was a crack, but they both have it, so it must be like a seam or the, the plastic. Oh, that's really weird. It's like snaps on or something? I don't know. Um, but anyway, the, saw, uh, the red on his, ch 
on his uh, tunic is I think also solid maybe a little bit of shading in the the con like the contours of his muscles um, he's got some lovely stamping on his back and his butt area cool and you know the green gloves are all one shade boots the boots are nice I think they they have this uh, texture all along them the red laces and then they have the, the tre uh, what's it called, tread on the bottom in gray. So that's pretty cool. And it's, it's funny, I, I haven't watched anyone else's reviews of this Robin yet because I wanted to kind of go in with a clean slate. I didn't want to be like regurgitating what everyone else was saying. But I know that Anthony did call his boots Christmas boots because Jason was laughing about it in our chat. <laughs> so yes, he does have Christmas boots. Um, I've always thought that was kind of funny about the Robins, most of the Robins, how they have these green and red suits that are, they look like Christmas. They really do. That's why I always liked Tim Drake's one year later suit because it was all red and it didn't have the red and green. And I like, you know, Dick's first Nightwing suit because it was blue instead of red. And that's why I don't like these red and they're going too because everyone else is red. Anyway, so Robin, I'm sorry, this, this review is a little all over the place and there's a nice little gap where I'm, all right, I'm moving on. Blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> the one thing, okay, wait, I didn't show the symbol. Here, let me take a little symbol. It is accurate. It is his Robin symbol. Now the cape, is it's fine. It's um it's yellow. It has the black, you know, it's supposed to be his hood draped over his back. It doesn't really look like it would be able to go over like it's it's just this is like a solid black rubber piece. So it's obviously not, you know, going over his head and but it doesn't have like enough of a gap in here that it looks like it could go over his head, if you get what I mean. And the whole thing is rubber. And I usually do like rubber capes, however, this is such a hard rubber that it's like it doesn't want to move like at all um and it 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 restricts movement uh in like his shoulders and um just like this makes his poses look weird if like you turn him and he his cape doesn't want to like move and curl with him so i wish it was a softer rubber um but it looks fine like the the shape and the everything looks cool So, that's really like it for taking a look at him. It's pretty simple. I feel like they did a decent job with the build, and they, the face, face is okay. It's a little off for, to me, but whatever. Um, so let's head articulation and see what that's like. Um, his head will go left and right all the way around, but it will not go up and down at all, which is really upsetting. Uh, it's, you know, the Son of Batman one didn't go up, This, but... And this one doesn't, it's just, why can't they, you know, use, either use the disc ball, like his ball hinges with the discs in them, or, you know, hollow out the head joint enough that it can move. I just, I don't know why this is a problem. The DC, DC Collectibles and Mattel on DC figures can't get right. Meanwhile, Hasbro has no problem on Marvel Legends figures. I just, I just don't know. Uh, his shoulders will go up. To the cape, they'll go forward and you know back as much as it allows. You can kind of push his cape up a little bit with his arm, but it's not really strong enough. He's got a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, full 90 degrees pretty much, and a rotation at the wrist. Both hands are open, like open fists. And he has an ab crunch that goes about that far forward and very far back one thing he can do but it looks pretty darn ugly <clears throat> he has a waist twist and it's, what's odd to me is that the waist twist is like above the belt and the tunic is a, a piece that's attached to the legs they did this really really weird i i don't know why they didn't make the tunic uh attach to like <clears throat> the, the bottom of the ab crunch and then have the waist twist underneath the tunic for more it'd be it'd be it allow for so much more movement in both the waist twist itself and then the T-jointed hips because you'd be able to twist the waist and kick out the hip from under the tunic if you wanted to do like a sidekick or something. 
this in this case your waist twist kind of gets a little sticky oh, it seems to go all the way around but it gets a little sticky and then the t-jointed hips only go out to like here so you can't kick out you know to the side more than you know like that it's pretty pathetic and even like forward and back they're, they're kind of pushing it there's like no back at all but the forward only goes to about there why is my camera changing color in the middle of filming it's not sun it's not sunset what <laughs> I'm sorry guys I like just noticed it was doing this I don't know what happened um hello how do I change it whoa hold on a sec guys well that was really weird <laughs> My camera went on some kind of weird auto setting that just started changing things. Um, sorry about that. Anyway, so, uh, where were we? Legs, yes. And then they have the cut above the knee. Bend at the knee. 90 degrees. Nothing at the top of the boots, which is fine. And then you have the hinge at the foot. No rocker. Well, it feels like there's, no, there's, there's no rocker. I'm not going to say there's a rocker. So... You know, a pretty typical batch of, like, Mattel's DC UC style articulation. A little disappointing because of the head. A little disappointing in the waist for me. And, you know, generally forever disappointing about no double-jointed knees or all those. Getting used to Marvel Legends here. So, um... Before closing this out, I just want to compare him to my only other Damien figure that I have, which is the DC collectible Son of Batman Damien that I just reviewed what, last week, I think, or the week before. So this is the two side by side. Now, the Son of DC collectible Son of Batman one is obviously in like more anime style. It's based off of this film, um, so he has like the lines painted on. Um, different like looks at the cape, very different looks at the face and the hair, but overall, you know, you can see it's the same character, and they're both really cool figures. Like I'm happy to have two different looks. Um, I still wish I could get that, you know, the original Batman Inc. Damian figure, but that's a long time away. I'm sure. Um, in the meantime, I'm I'm happy to finally have a, a comic style figure, and this guy's cool too. So I have to say. The scale-wise, um, I do like how small this one is. Like, I think that even even against, like, Capullo Batman, I don't mind him being that small. I feel like Ro he was that small. He was, ten, like, ten years old, you know? Or however, ten different books, I don't know. I think he was ten to, ten to twelve, I'm, I'm, I think. So, you know, but either one. I just feel like this is more like a teenager. And this is more like what he really is. So, yes. So that's just, you know, the two of them side by side. Um, if you want a comic style one, you know, this is the way to go. Unless you can get your hands on the Batman Inc. or DC Collectibles will decide to release a new one, which I hope they will. I hope they do like a new 52 Damian Wayne Robin. Especially with him coming back. Um, I think it's the time. And 75th anniversary of Robin next year, so definitely the time. Let's do it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I feel like this was a really terrible review, and I'm sorry um, if you did not enjoy it, because <laughs> I usually feel more confident in my reviews, but <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, that those that's how I feel. I feel like uh, uh, I'm not, like, blown away by this figure, but I'm not necessarily underwhelmed. I'm just kind of, okay, it's about what I expected. I'm glad I'm not disappointed. That would have been really upsetting after all this time to be like, wow, this guy sucks. So <laughs> definitely worth a pickup. Um, you know, try to grab him on Maddie. I think he's still available on Maddie Collector. And uh, before, you know, he goes soaring up on eBay or something. And yeah, so that's been my review of the DC Signature Collection Robin straight from Maddie Collector. Damian Wayne here. Join in the ranks of the DC UCs. So... Thanks for watching as always guys, and I'll see you next time.